Good morning. J.R., you ain't get up. What time is it? It's after eight. Weren't you the one that suggested the three of us lunch in Amarillo today? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. In the words of J.R. Ewing, oil is a business for early risers. If you want to be a player in this game, get up. Oof. <sighs> Bob and Sue Ellen. <laughs> Joe, I meant what I said about you riding the workers too hard. You keep that up, and they're going to end up slowing down the output, getting hurt, or simply walking out. And we can't afford to lose any good workers. I heard you loud and clear, Ms. Ewing. Thank you, Joe. You handled that well. well he's not a bad guy. He just gets a little overeager sometimes. That's the one I was betting on, and it didn't disappoint me. You know, I told JR that we'd meet him at the ranch house. I think maybe I should call him up and cancel. Why? Well, uh, that's where all the roughnecks hang out. Dad used to take JR and me there when we'd come up here to inspect the fields. <laughs> we saw Daddy knock more drunks on their butts in that place. <laughs> I'm just not sure it's the right place for you to be. Bobby, times have changed. I think I can handle myself. All right. So we still have time. Let's go to 23 and check the reports. Today? Yo, watch this. After I poured the wine, they said, if I must, I'll go down in flames. <laughs> Howdy, man. And I couldn't help but notice you got a great set of wheels. Hey, buddy, Club, why don't you take it back to the bar? You see, I'm talking to the lady. Well, I know, but if you just take it back to the bar. <laughs> now, uh, I was. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Well, Ray, welcome home. Hi, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sue Ellen, you sure you want to be in the oil business? More and more. Actually, it was sort of exhilarating in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ewing? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, there you are. Thank you. Aaron, buy the boys a drink. <laughs> well, thanks for nothing, Mr. Ewing. This was supposed to be a walk in the park. They nearly put us in the hospital. Who was the, uh, the other guy? Ray Krebs. Always oh, shows up like a bad penny. Yeah. Listen, I want you to do something for me. All right. Throw me out of here, but real gentle here. Throw you out of yeah, here? Yeah, but be gentle. Oh, real gentle. Yeah. No problem. <clears throat> Are you, uh, ready? Yes, sir. Go. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute, you guys. Wait. Come on. Uh, What are you doing to me? Why did you leave me all alone in there? Hell, I could have been killed. Oh, I don't know. You looked pretty safe behind that table. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Ray? I thought you and Jenna were living in Switzerland, living the high life. Well, not that it's any of your business, JR. I was hired by a European oil company to try and help me out here in Texas. <laughs> Ray, you're a cowboy. Or are you trying to be a Ewing again? JR, you missed the action in the bar. Are you determined to get beat up out here? Well, now, you, you, you're missing the humor to this, Bobby. I mean, hell, Ray and oil, man. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I'd love to stay in chat, but I got an appointment. Uh, oh, why don't you and Cliff Barnes uh, start a company? <laughs> you can call it the blind leading the bland. <laughs> Sue so, Ellen, you becoming some sort of workaholic or something? Look at all this stuff you got here. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself more than I ever have in my life. Well, well, I'm happy for you. You think it's the old business you're so happy with or uh, who you're partnered with? Bobby is a far cry from you. You know, I've been keeping my eye on you and all. You have learned more in two years than Bobby has in 20. And he doesn't go for the jugular like you do. <laughs> no. His heart is at South Fork, honey, and yours is at Ewing Oil. And let me tell you, it shows. It really does. was meant for me, so I... Sue Ellen? You finished with your work in Amarillo? Yeah, pretty much. When are you going back? Oh, soon, I guess. I miss Jenna like crazy. It'll be hard to leave South Fork again. This has been home for you for a lot of years. You and Bobby, partners in Ewing Oil. Who would I ever imagine? Yeah. How does J.R. handle all that? <laughs> His usual way, he's trying to buy it back. He thinks that money is the answer to everything. Well, there are some problems that only money can solve, Sue Ellen. What's going on? <sighs> I'm losing my ranch. Got a mortgage due and I can't pay it, so the bank's calling the loan. Does Bobby know anything about this? Not all the gory details. And I don't want him to know. So look, I want to do everything I can to help you, Ray. Let me. Thanks, Sue Ellen. But I got myself into this alone, and that's how I'm going to have to get myself out of it. Yeah. Take care, Ray. Good seeing you. You too. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ray. Hey, don't you think it's time to shake hands and make up? Huh? Whatever happened between us happened a long time ago. Give it up, JR. That could put an end to all your money problems. You could uh, take off, fly to Switzerland, pick up the high life again. I'm waiting for the catch. There's no catch. I just want to buy your ranch, that's all. What? Yeah, well, things are getting kind of uncomfortable here. I'm going to have to move off South Fork. I got to have some place to live. And uh, I want to be near here, and your ranch would just be perfect. Sure as hell won't be on my property. That is Ewing property. You are not a Ewing, you are a Krebs. It still just kills you that Jock was my father too, doesn't it? My daddy was too kind. He'd never turn his back on a little bastard like you. I'd have just take you apart. Well, I gotta warn you, I got more security here than the President of the United States. Now, you make a move on me, and they'll be on you before you can say, I blew all my money on bad investments. You know, I think it might just be worth it. Hey, Bob. They are. What's going on, Ray? The usual. Say, you're kind of early. What happened with your date with Jennifer? Your little plan to set me up backfired, JR. What do you mean? Just how does Jennifer know so much about my business? Well, I don't know. She's a hell of a businesswoman in her own right. You just never give up, do you? Can we talk? Sure. Is something wrong? Look, I need a full-time partner. You've got one, Sue Ellen. I'm your partner. Bobby, you're always ranching. And even when you are at the office, your mind is elsewhere. It's a little strong, don't you think? Not when Ewing Oil is on the line, no. What is this really about, Sue Ellen? Let's talk about Jennifer Jensen. Okay, what about her? I can't do business with that woman. She's a friend of JR's, and I don't trust her. But you were willing to jump right in. Well, I'm not jumping right in, so problem solved. Next. That's it? What about the fact that you couldn't keep your eyes off her when... Wait a minute, Sue Ellen. My personal life is not open for discussion. I left the oil business once before because I didn't want to lose a brother over it. Same holds true for my sister. No. no one is talking about losing me. We're partners. That's what I'm trying to preserve here. At what price? Oh, Bobby, for God's sakes. If you want to beat the killers at their own game, you have to become one yourself. Well, maybe I should let you do that if that's what you want to be. You know, it doesn't seem like you care very much about the company your father started for nothing. What right do you have to tell me what I'm supposed to care about? Grow up, Bobby. You should care about Ewing Oil. And if you don't, you should get the hell out of it. You know, Sue Ellen, you are turning into someone else. Someone who sounds a lot like J.R. and... that is not an attractive transformation. Well, I think that sounding like J.R. isn't so bad. At least he had passion for his company. <laughs> All right, Sue Ellen, I'll tell you what. Ewing Oil was here before you came along. It's gonna be here after you're gone. So you make any decision you want to about it, okay? And you sink or swim on your own merits. Just leave me out of it. Fine. It was nice doing business with you, darling. Everything all right? 